Why is it when we dream, we start in the middle? Our minds just accept our environment. Even if things don't make sense in reality, it resonates within the world we've created. That's the beauty of dreams. They pull from the fragments of our memories and weave them into something new. Dreams have a way of making the intangible feel tangibly real. A cinematic masterpiece each and every night. Why can't we live there? Or can we? M-Style Cinematic. Let your dreams live. Once you have installed M-Style Cinematic via M Installer, it can be located in your transitions, as well as your titles. M-Style Cinematic comes with several different overlay effects. If you'd like to get a real-time preview, you can simply skim over and you will see that there in your canvas, how that's going to affect your footage. So again, we have multiple overlay effects and then we have some typography. So let's go ahead and get started. To apply, simply click and drag in over the clip that you would like to affect. You can see that these are working as adjustment layers, so any clips beneath are going to be affected. Here we have some on-screen controls, and this is going to affect your focus and where that blur is happening. And then this tool here is going to adjust the effect strength. So you can see how all the way around to this side is the strongest effect all the way back. And then there where the dark circle is, is our default. Over in our inspector, you can adjust the effects position, the strength and radius, as well as the size of the mask. So if you click and drag up or down, you can see how that is being affected there in our canvas. We can flip the distortion if we would like. Then you can see some chromatic aberration that we can toggle on and off. I can adjust that amount so that you can see how much stronger it is here over in our edges. Now what's great about these tools is they are stackable. So now that we have our anamorphic effect, if we would like to select the letterbox, drag that in on top, you can see that that letterbox is animating in alongside our anamorphic effect, but it is taking into account that anamorphic effect beneath. Really simple over in our inspector, we have animations in and out. We have animation mode for close or open. Then we have our letterbox size, letterbox color and opacity. We also have this on-screen control here to adjust the size really quickly. Since these are working as adjustment layers, we can drag this over the entirety of all of our clips and it is going to affect all of our clips together. So you can see how that letterbox is affecting all of these clips. So for this next shot, maybe I wanted some sort of blurring to happen so we can bring that blurring in. Let's drag it beneath our letterbox there. And it is over top that entire shot. We do have on-screen controls again, so you can see how that blurring is working. Then if you want to increase or decrease the size of that, you can do so also with that on-screen control. And then you have additional adjustable parameters here in your inspector. I may also want some grain in this shot, so I'm going to bring that grain in and I'm going to bring it above my blurring because I do not want that blur to affect my grain. I want that grain on top of the entire shot. And as you can see here in my canvas, that makes a big difference. Over in our inspector, we can adjust the grain strength, the scale of the grain, the blending mode, our hue of our grain, along with our saturation, brightness, blur, and horizontal and vertical blur. So for this next shot, I may want some light diffusion happening because we've got some really cool bokeh in our background. So I'm going to click on light diffuse. And again, I'm going to bring that in beneath my letterbox. And then you can see here how that is affecting our footage. Over in our inspector, we have diffuse range. 
We have strength. Spread. We have our diffuse brightness. And then a, a few additional parameters here. And we also have diffuse coloration. So you can see we've got a nice blue here, but maybe I want to warm this shot up. And I'm actually going to use my eyedropper tool and let's select some of the orange that is already in our scene so that it blends really well. And then you can see the difference there that that is making as I toggle that on and off. It's very subtle here, but it really adds some beautiful texture to our shot and it blends so well because we are using the color that is already found naturally in our scene. I could actually bring that range up just a little bit and I might bring the strength up a tiny bit just to add to our shot. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Really, really pretty. Now we do also have some titles and again, if you skim over these, you can see how those are going to look in your canvas. We have caption, cast, credits, details, interlude, lower third, quote and then we have three titles there very cinematic titles so why don't we bring our quote in i'm going to bring that in above my light diffuse and then you can see here that that just kind of animates in on top of our shot and then beautifully animates out really really nice as always, with a majority of titles for Motion VFX, we have on-screen controls for position, scale, and rotation. And then over in our inspector, a plethora of adjustable parameters so that you can adjust those titles, change the name, change the quote. You can change the color if you would like. You can add a sign text or not, and then you can make changes to that as well and add drop shadow if it needs it in your shot. For our last scene here, maybe I want to add a bit of everything. So why don't we bring in our light diffuse on top of our shot there that is coming in from the other scene. We can bring our grain over. So I'm just going to hold option down, click and drag over. And we have duplicated that grain we can duplicate our anamorphic effect by holding option, click and drag over. And maybe we want that anamorphic effect beneath our grain there. There we go. And we can make that not so strong on our anamorphic. Let's bring the chromatic aberration down just a bit. And then let's also turn our grain down just a bit. It's quite strong in this shot. Nice. If we wanted to maybe add some light leaks in on top, we can, again, we can stack these. So with our light leaks, we're going to bring that opacity down because we don't want it to be too terribly strong. And again, you can just go really crazy with this. We could add a light and shadow effect here, and that is just going to be exactly what it sounds like. So you can see how really quickly we can take these on-screen controls and we can get that look that we want. We can turn the light brightness down in our inspector because it is a bit too strong. Cool, and there you go. Really, really nice. So again, you can just stack these for days and days and days and just come up with really unique, really cool cinematic effects. And let's not forget our transitions. So over in our transitions, if you just skim over, you can see in your canvas how those are going to look. A bunch of really cool, really unique looking transitions. And to apply those, of course, simply click and drag in between your clips. So let's just show you a couple of these really quickly. And you can see how beautifully they animate together. Nice. So in this transition, you do have an on-screen control and you can see how we have the animation angle is linked to this 
on-screen control here so depending on where your shot is going you can set your wipe i like the wipe moving in from sort of the default side because my truck is moving that way i'm looking that way and then we also have our quote animating in from left to right so we're going to keep that animation as it is but over in our inspector we have transition mode we can have masked or full screen we have the angle, we can flip the mask if we would like, and then blur strength, and we can change our background color and opacity. Then we also have this next transition here, which is just our flash transition, and we just have flash brightness, jitter strength, blur strength, and then background color. And that is about it. Thank you so much for checking out M Style Cinematic, which is now available on motionvfx.com. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.